So this is a playlist about how to collaborate with Google Docs. And in the first video, we talked about how to share Google Docs. The second was looking at how to do edits. This one's how to manage those edits. And so what you're looking at here is you're looking at the email uh, account for Joe Bright. And uh, we're seeing that he has, and you can see the four, obviously there's a bunch of these that are action items resulting from this document. And if we look at the Google, um, this is the Google Drive, we're going to see that they have uh, four follow-ups and uh, we can then uh, open up the document and see what those are. Now, if we look, because we're collaborating with, with Tina, and so this is, this is Tina Louder's account, know that what she has is also kind of four because she's got their action items related to that. Now, because she's not the owner, uh, we're not going to see any uh, numbers associated with it here, but, what, but the, uh, the email does drive her to it. Uh, and if we look at it, <clears throat> what she's able to see then is, is these are the, uh, the comments that she needs to look at as well. So let's look at this from Joe's perspective. And the first thing to know is, is that there is a feature here called Tools review suggested edits that lets you select whether you want to preview what it would look like either accepting all or rejecting all um, and then uh, you can leave it on suggested edits and you could actually walk the edits that way um, and this gives you the chance to hit those buttons if you need to. Uh, what I suggest doing is is actually working through the document to identify uh, for example those um, edits that need to be made as you read it and you can see this is a, a suggestion to delete uh, I can reply back and remember I can do a, a plus email address to give something directly to Tina or I can make a general reply just to know uh, why I either in this case either rejected or accepted but let's assume you're just accepting and that's fine um, and then if you also look at um, at others, let's just say we did some other deletions. We're going to accept that one. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're looking here again to see what else we need. Uh, we had a, a comment here, remember that that was, um, do, you know, do we need to add more information? And so what we're able to do is to create a reply here. Uh, and then we can say whatever we need to. Um, but what, sh what she's done here is to create an, an ad that actually is a comment. Um, but it's a great way to be able to see it in line and to know what's going on. She could have done it uh, here. So if we look at, at this comment, we had a comment here around others, you know, do we need to define this? And we're gonna say, no, I think we're happy right now. So we're gonna say everything's okay, uh, is okay. And we're able to then look at saying, we're going to call that, we're going to, first thing we have to do is reply. In other words, if we just hit resolve, we lose the reply. So it's important to hit reply. And then we're able to click resolve. What that does is take it off our list. And so now we're down to the fact that she said, do we need to discuss? And I'm going to say, she assigned this to me. Uh, so I'm going to say at this point, you know, everything is okay. Um, is okay I'm going to reply and then what I'm going to do is to uh, kind of mark that um, you know so I can mark it done and hide it as discussion so I'm going to say that's fine I'm done with that and now we're left with one last one here is do we need to add more information Remember, this was the other comment that she had made notice that this comment uh, doesn't have any additional information to look at uh, if you want to, to resurrect a, a comment here that you've, that you've allowed out, if you click on this button, this is the comments thread, and this allows you to reopen or add discussion items. And this is a very long list because this is all of the, the edits that have been made. Um, the other thing you can do here, which is helpful, is you can modify your notifications so that you're getting emails, getting notifications every time a comment is made. Uh, you can do it when only your comments are involved in a comment uh, or no messages. And so you can, depends on how much information you need to take a look at. Uh, but that's a quick look at verifying and accepting edits. And now we're going to go on and we're going to talk about how to do versions. Thanks.